Roswell Flight Test Crew, here today at AUVSI Exponential 2017, and I'm here with Arnie Sharpie at the FLIR booth, who's got the Black Hornet on the scene for us. So tell us a little bit about this guy, and you've got him strapped to your chest. Yeah, hello Patrick, it's good to be with you here. This is the complete system of the Black Hornet here. We designed this system some years ago to give the dismounted squad and the single operator their own set of eyes out there so they didn't have to call up higher authorities to get some support, but that they had an easily and quickly deployable tool for situational awareness around them. And can we actually take a look at one of these aircraft? I mean, they're so small, I've never seen one personally. If you look at this now, let's open one of the cargo bays in the base station, and that or brings out one of the sensors, a, a small helicopter uh, with a total weight of 18 grams. Uh, this is the day version with a rechargeable battery here in the belly, a sensor package uh, at the front here with the three day cameras. And then you have the engines and the rotors and of course the rest which is needed. But uh, a weight of 18 grams, a range we say uh, up to a mile and it provides then live stream video and still pictures back to the operator. So. Um Amazing. Can I can I hold it? Yeah, sure. That is just wow. I mean, I've seen photos of this. I've seen photos of people holding it. But until you actually hold it in your own hand, it's just impossible to, to say how lightweight and small this thing is. It's amazing. The human brain is wired in a strange way. When people see this for the first time and get it in their hands, the first thing they think is toy. But this is as far as it gets from a toy. It's an incredible advanced ISR platform for the soldiers out there. Now, now, how does a soldier control this thing? I mean, because, you know, they're probably not going to be flying around with an RC remote tucked in their pocket. No, uh, first of all, this is a system meant to be carried for the soldier as is. The total weight, as we see it now, is less than three pounds. So he has a base station with up to two sensors with him, and that adds up with a screen, a seven-inch screen, where he basically sees what the sensor is seeing out there. There is a very simple and intuitive one-hand controller. We are strongly believers in a one-hand controller that gives you more freedom for the other hand, and it is also very robust in adverse weather conditions. Okay, Arnie, so it's a shame for me because I would dearly love to have one of these things and fly it around, but you only sell this to the military and like law enforcement, right? Yes, that is correct. This is a restricted product and uh, we only sell to governments and there need to be a governmental end user license uh, in order to buy this. So for all practical purposes, it is uh, military and law enforcement and other governmental structures around the world. Having said that, we have sold to more than 20 countries already. Uh, we have produced more than 4,000 of these helicopters. So we have a certain experience with this. Well, it's amazing technology, and as somebody with a little bit of background in tactical operations, it's just so clear this thing is going to save lives, because this can go in and save a person having to go into a very dangerous situation. Yes, and that is why we made it, to give the squad out there, or even the group of a couple of guys, or even the single special operator, give him the opportunity to have a tool he could deploy immediately, within seconds, to have a look what's going on, on that ridge up there, behind the buildings down there, and by that, save lives, own forces, avoid uh, cash unnecessary casualties, civilians. So uh, it is a unique tool to help the troopers who are really in the first line out there. Amazing stuff. Well, Arnie, thank you so much for your time. I appreciate that. Thank you very much for having me. All right. And from AUVSI Exponential 2017, this is the Roswell Flight Test Crew, signing off.